a house in Minecraft, but every room is a random size. With the help of this handy dandy random number generator, we'll be able to create the most random and chaotic house in Minecraft. This is how it's gonna work. I'm gonna get two random numbers from the number generator and that will be the dimension of whatever room I see fit. So if I get something huge like 10 by 10, I might wanna make that a kitchen. If I get something small like three by four, then that would probably be a bathroom. If for some reason all of my numbers are roughly the same size, well, there's nothing I can really do about that and that's why it's a challenge. I've got some planks, the generator has been set. Now let's see what size room we get. Our first room will be seven by four. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, I should explain. I'm gonna pretend these walls don't exist. So I'm gonna make the interior of all these spaces the actual number. So the inside will be seven by four. See what I mean? The inside is seven by four, but the outside is actually nine by six. If I included the walls in that size, uh, this is all we would have to build with. So uh, it's just not gonna work that way. So the walls will not count. Okay, now to make this a little bit more challenging, I'm actually gonna pick and decorate each room as we go, so I won't be able to look at all of our rooms and pick where to put things that way. I'm just gonna have to decide right now what this room is gonna be. Since this is on the smaller size, we could make this a bathroom. I just realized I don't know how this layout is gonna work. Uh, wait, how do I, where do I put a door? Where do I put windows? Hmm. You know what? We'll figure that out later. In the middle of this wall, we could place a double synced vanity. Now, I don't have any mirrors, unfortunately, in this game, but I do have these really pretty wall lamps. Just pretend there's a, a mirror in between those. I mean, we, I guess we could kind of pretend with a banner. Oh. Okay, that kind of works. Now on either side of the sink area, we obviously need a place for a toilet and either a shower and a tub or both a shower and a tub. I got some glass that we could put like this for the shower. <gasps> Wait, we can do a shower and a toilet on this side and a tub on this side. I don't, turn it back on. We'll pretend this lever is a shower head. This button will turn the water on. Over here, we'll have our toilet. And over here, we can make a tub with some trap doors. Now we just need a button for the water. We can actually put some water in the tub. Then we'll add a bit of carpet and some towels. Because we pretty much used three out of four walls in this space, I guess that means our door has to go here. Now let's see what our next room will be. Two by five. What am I gonna make that's two by five? Closet? Maybe a pantry? This is not good. Okay, um, two by five, two by five, two by five looks like this. What the heck? <gasps> Wait, it's tiny, but it could be a storage room. So like a closet, but like for chests and stuff. All right, obviously this can't go here. Uh, it has to be connected to the house. <gasps> Maybe, wait a minute, better idea. Maybe it's a walk-in closet off of the bathroom. I did put a double sink in here, so this could be like a primary suite bathroom. Okay, let's see, so if it's two by five, we have one, two, three, four, five, and then we've got two, one, two, three, four, five, and two, then we break this open, and this could just be like a closet, and I guess the door would have to also be here to a future bedroom so you're kind of like walking through the closet to get to the bathroom there's really no other way to do it i don't i don't know where else to put the door in here to leave anywhere else i mean maybe like like that i could we could put a door there okay maybe we do that instead hold on we're putting a door here so that it's a little less awkward one two three four five okay Ta-da! There's our closet. Let's just replace the floor. And now we can figure out where to put things. Do I at least have a laundry basket? No basket. Oh, that's like a picnic basket. This is kind of like a little storage basket. This may work for some, that's really big. I don't know, Never mind. Okay, wait a minute. I'm finding things. How about this? We could add a bunch of these drawers. This, oh, it's very tight in here. It's gonna be very hard to try on clothes. Ah. What if we just had like two sides like this and then like shelf, 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 and 
Maybe, hold on. Wait. Oh. Ooh, that looks kind of nice. And you can actually kind of walk in here now. Again, I'm gonna use the uh, <coughs> light gray banner trick to make a pretend mirror. Beautiful. <laughs> and now we can add some clothes to our armor stands. Wait, can I put stuff on these shelves? <gasps> oh, oh, that's perfect. Wait, these could be shoe shelves. Oh, whoa, wait a minute. Okay, I didn't know I had such fun armor. Goodbye, netherite. See you later. Uh, what? <gasps> look at this. Oh, <gasps> look at this one. Oh my goodness. What even is this? Platinum armor? <gasps> oh my gosh. Oh, that's beautiful. Well done. I want to add all the boots. Look what I found. Since we have a lot of shoes going on in this closet, we can pretend that this box is a shoe box. Ta-da! Okay, hopefully this next room can be a bit bigger. Four by three? This generator hates me! What am I gonna build that's four by three? Oh, no, I don't even know where to put something that's four by three. Wait, what about here? Four by three? One, two, three, four. One, two, three. <sighs> what even is this? What even is this? I need to be building like actual house things like a kitchen, a living room, a bedroom, maybe a sunroom and an office. I, this will not do. I don't even know what to do with this. Okay, I used my brain a little bit. I figured out what I can do with the space. It's not like the best idea and it actually only works if we get big numbers next time. But um, this could be a pantry to a potential kitchen. A strong emphasis on the word potential there because I don't know what we're gonna get. Also, I think that this is gonna be the front of the house. So we're gonna have to add some windows eventually. That might be kind of awkward because so far the front two rooms are a bathroom and, and a pantry. So um, I guess maybe I might as well just start doing this. That's where the towels are. Okay, um, it's fine. We'll just move those there. Perfect. Now for this walk-in pantry, I think we're just gonna put a bunch of shelves and chests in here. And there we go. Okay, I want my next room now. I want something bigger, please. Five by eight. We might be able to make that work. Five by eight, five by eight. Let's see, what does that look like? Wait a minute, let's be smart about this. If I build a kitchen that's this shape, that might make the front of this house look really weird. But if I rotate it to go this way, then it might make the front look better and possibly let us have an open concept kitchen, living or dining room area. Yep, let's do the second option. That's not bad. I moved the door to the pantry over by one block. That way we can push this kitchen back a little bit, making the front a little bit more interesting and not so flat. And I actually think it works. Obviously we need a nice big window in the front. So let's just put that right there. We'll swap out the floors and now we can decorate a kitchen. First, I think it would look nice if we switched up the textures a little bit. So because this is where the majority of my cabinets are gonna go, we can use diorite for a backsplash. In the center of this wall, we can have an oven. Surrounding it, we could have some cabinets, a refrigerator, and then some upper cabinets. Over by the window, we can add a sink. And in the middle of the space, we can build an island. Ta -da! Now to make this room feel a little more lived in, we could put a kitchen mat by the sink, a toaster over here, maybe a few cups, some plates, a sandwich, salt and pepper shakers, and some plants. Now we can just add some glass to all these windows and hope our next room will be large enough for a living room. The random generator will give us 10 by 10. This is literally so perfect. Since our kitchen was five by eight and our living room is now gonna be 10 by 10, that means we can center it to this room 
and have an open area. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, now because this house is kind of getting a little long, I'm gonna keep the living room simple just so that we can expand where we need to. As you can see, I did put windows on this wall because I don't want to go out this way anymore. So this will be the end of the house. And between these two windows, we're obviously gonna add a fireplace. On either side, we could have some hanging plants with some lamps in the corners. Then to keep things cozy, we'll add a carpet. And since I kind of have this pastel blue and white theme going on, I'm gonna use these white armchairs for sofas and chairs, but I'm gonna surround them with some trap doors to give them some color. Perfect. We could always add some more decorations later, but for now, I really wanna see what size room we're gonna get. If we get something small, we can make an entryway. And if we get something a bit bigger, then we can make a dining room. Four by seven. Okay, four by seven. That's, wait, isn't that what we got for this bathroom? This is four by seven. Okay, so I'm imagining maybe a tiny dining room in that space or maybe a decent sized entryway. I honestly feel like either one would work, but let's see. So we have one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I feel like it's a little long for an entryway, but if I close my eyes a little bit, it makes the front of the house look a bit better. <gasps> Wait, this could be like an entryway porch kind of sunroom place. No, hold on. I have ideas. Ideas are happening. Okay, it might be kind of weird because I'm building the porch kind of front entryway area up a block, but like a little stair is fine. Maybe not right there though. Maybe we could put stairs there and then have front doors here. This could work. Since we're not counting walls, we don't really need these here. So instead, we can just add some stairs here, maybe some upside down stairs on the sides for some detail. And then on all these corners, we could add posts. So we'll put a wall there, a wall here, a wall here, a wall here, and a wall here. Now, I know it looks a little funny right now, but just pretend there's a roof and that it's finished. <laughs> and between the posts, we can add a little bit of fencing. And then because we do have this space right here, we could add a bench and some plants. Now that our house has a proper entryway, there's only two more spaces we have to build. Well maybe three, depending on what numbers we get. I would really love to add a dining room off of the living room and we also need a bedroom, but I was looking at the layout of this house and if you wanna get into this bathroom, you have to like go around the side and I don't think that's gonna work. We're either gonna have to get a weird number for a potential hallway or we might have to move that door. Our next room will be two by 10. Wait, that could actually work for a hallway. Let's see, we have a space of two, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This could work. Okay, we actually got a hallway. To make this like not so awful though, I think it would be pretty if we had like Tons of windows down here. Oh, but it's 10 spaces, so it's not gonna be even. Hold on. Oh no, no. How about that? That works. Maybe a couple of plants and a bit of carpet as a runner. There's even enough space at the end to attach another room. Let's hope our numbers are good. Eight by nine. That's actually really good. I think eight by nine is too big for a dining room though. So let's make that the bedroom. Now, because we have a lot of space in here, we can make a king size bed. We'll put three like this, surrounded by some slabs. And now we have a giant bed. On either side of the bed, we can add some light blue dressers. Obviously, we have to put some lamps on them. And then in this area behind the bed, we could add some plants, some cacti, a cool glow shroom terrarium, and a record player. Across from the bed, we can put a tiny TV on the wall. Then we can add some carpet, some sheep plushies, and some books. Cute. Now that that's done, hopefully we can get a decent size for the dining room. Six 
by nine. This space is actually perfect for a dining room off of the living room, but <laughs> we've got a problem. There's nothing connecting this half of the house to this half of the house, unless we want to walk outside to get to the bedroom. We're going to have to add one more space and hope it fits in this place. Three by three. Okay, those aren't the exact numbers that I would have chosen, but I think we can make it work. Unfortunately, I won't be able to have the dining room centered on this wall, but we could just move it over a little bit. There we go. So we can now create an opening from the living room to the dining room. And now with this tiny three by three space, we have access to the other rooms. For this space, we'll add an area rug. Then we'll add a table. Obviously add a bunch of chairs. We can place some cups on the table. Have a plant in the middle. Put some more plants around the room. And we can create an accent wall. Now that everything's mostly done, I'm gonna add a few more details. I should probably add a roof and then we'll go on a tour. Look, I know it's not great, but for what I had to work with, it's not bad. Our house now has a roof. It's very, uh, it's interesting, but it works. <laughs> Let's go on a tour. So as you just saw, this is the outside of the house. Then first we have our entryway. For this, I just made a little porch. We've got a bench and a little plant. And then the first thing you see when you walk inside is the living room. In the living room, we've got a cozy fireplace, lots of cushions and places to sit. We've got lamps, bookshelves, plants, and tons of decor. Across from the living room, we have the kitchen. We've got little cups on the island. There's a sandwich over here. Again, uh, there's lots of plants. <laughs> and over here, we have the sink. Right off the kitchen, we have a little butler's pantry. I kept it really simple in here and I didn't really decorate, but we do have our cups and plates on display. Now, if we go back out this way, that little three by three hallway that we got actually worked out because not only does it give us a way to the bedroom from the dining room, but we can also get there through the kitchen. Before we go that way though, let's go to the dining room. So in the dining room, obviously we've got a table with some chairs. We've got a couple of plants, a light. I made like an accent wall with some trap doors. And then over here, we have a frog photo. Between the dining room and the bedroom, this is that little hallway that we got. And I just decided to decorate it with some cushions and plants so that we could have a little window seat. I think it's cute. But now here's where things get a little weird. Uh, if you ever had guests over at this house, house, they would have to go through the master bedroom to get to the bathroom. I don't think it's possible to get to the bathroom from... Nope. Okay, that's the closet. Yeah, there's no way that I could have connected the bathroom any other way. So this is how you'd get there. Before we head to the bathroom, first we have the master bedroom with our giant king size bed. I actually replaced one of the plants with a Polaroid camera because I found all these pictures to display. Besides those pictures, we obviously have lots of plants, a record player, books, and sheep plushies. Now, if we were to leave this space and go down this awkward hallway, <laughs> this is how you'd get to the bathroom. In this bathroom, we have a toilet, some towels, a shower, sinks, a tub, and then through this door, we have the walk-in closet. Even though it's a little bit of a maze to get around this house, I really like it. What do you think about this random house? Let me know what your favorite room is in the comments below. And if you're new, make sure to subscribe.